When should you start looking to invest in real estate and is just out of college too young? You know, I bought my very first home when I was 20 years old. I moved straight from my mom's basement straight into a condo. And although that condo was not my dream home, I knew I had to get a foot in the market. I had to get started. And fast forward 20 years later, that property has increased in value by over 400%. Now I don't own that property today, but when I sold it, I did so completely tax-free. I moved all of that capital, all of that money into my next investment. And I still own that property to this day. What I've found is that over the long term, real estate prices continue to rise at around four to five percent per year. And the rental income that I'm able to get from those rental properties rises as well. I remember the property that I purchased when I sold my very first home was an eight unit apartment building right by the University of Utah and the Capitol uh, in downtown Salt Lake City. That property, when I started renting those units, rented for $315 a day, uh, per month. And today, literally 20 years later, that property rents each unit for $1,495 per month. So over the long term, what you can anticipate with real estate is that there will be ebbs and flows. There will be ups and there will be downs in value. But as long as you have cash flow, meaning the rents that you're receiving is greater than your mortgage payment and any kind of typical normal maintenance that's going to be due, you're going to see increased rents and the longer you stay in the property, the more advantageous, the more cash flow you will be able to create as a real estate investor.